Hi everybody, it's Claire. Uh, today you can see that I've got my work in progress that I posted on our Joanna Basford Your Pages site yesterday. It's from Joanna Basford's beautiful Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. It's a double page as you can see that I'm working on and today's tutorial is specifically going to be about these red velvet curtains, these red velvet drapes. Um, I posted a close-up of these yesterday and um, a lot of you have said it looks really really realistic um, how on earth did you do it and it's really really simple and dead easy to follow so I thought we can do this in less than 10 minutes I bet um, so what I'm going to do today is, is show you the the red velvet curtains and it can apply to any kind of fabrics really because you don't have to have a, a palette of red you could have a palette of any colors whatsoever and this principle will will work in exactly the same way forgive me if I'm sounding croaky today um, I'm getting over not being very well so um, please just try and bear with me and I'll, I'll try not to let my voice break okay so <clears throat> I've got my practice book underneath so I just move that out of the way and then you can see I've got my six prism colors so just grab these and then what I'm going to do is move this into shot a little bit better for you so you can see the curtains and then we'll zoom in a little bit Okie dokie, let's have a look. I'm just going to see what you can see on the screen. So we're going to be working, yes, yeah, so I need to pull the book a bit forward this way. So I'm going to show you how to do this side of this curtain here and then we'll have a look at one of the one of the top drapes as well, I think, just so that you can see how to use the same principle in, in a swathe. So I've got here, I've got six Prismacolor pencils in my hand. Um, you'll be able to replicate this with, with basically any brand of pencils that you want. The, um, the point is that you need some really, really rich dark colours in your palette, including black. And I'll show you why in a moment. So I've got black, and this is going from dark to light. I've got black raspberry. I've got Tuscan red. I've got uh, raspberry. Then I've got crimson lake, and my lightest shade is scarlet lake. So, Part of the reason that this tutorial is going to be really, really easy for you to follow is because I'm not going to talk to you about blending, I'm not going to talk to you about light, um, because basically we have everything we need here. So just take, us, take a few seconds to look at Joanna's design. So you can see here, she's put little, let me just point with my black pencil, she's put little lines here where the folds of the curtains, the folds of the drapes actually sit. And all we need to do is follow those lines with our darkest colours. And that, if I just go back to my original, shows you where the lines of the curtains hang. So the actual folds in the fabric. So Joanna's design actually does all of the work for us in terms of where we place the colour. So we're going to start with the darkest colour and we're going to work out over. Now I've got my black in my hand. Now I know putting black on on the page is kind of a bit oh uh, you need a bit of bravery for it but honestly it's going to be fine so let's have a go so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to and I'm pressing and the reason I'm not telling you about blending or anything like that because all of this colouring that you will see is done in a pretty firm pressure hand so I'm just going to follow this outline down and then when we get to the little fold of the drape here. I'm just gonna follow it down. And I'm literally just drawing over in a firm hand in black. I'm just drawing over Joanna's design. So I'm following where she's indicating the folds of the fabric lie, okay? And I know it's black, and I know it's a bit scary, but be fine. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then all we're going to do is we're going to do the same from the bottom. Follow this line up there like that. Medium firm hand. No blend lines. Easy. Follow the drape. Firm pressure. Okay, easy, easy peasy. 
OK, and that will be clearly our deepest shadow. OK, so I'm going to go to our next deepest colour, which is black raspberry. And we're going to do exactly the same. And we're just going to follow the pattern round in ever lightening shades of that palette that I showed you at the start. So go over the black slightly, but again, firm pressure. We're not blending, we're not putting any blend lines in. I'm just literally following the pattern <laughs> around the black and slightly over it. So you can still see the black. I'm just doing an outline, firm pressure. Okay. <laughs> Same at the bottom. I told you this was dead easy, didn't I? Follow the pattern. And when I said on my post in the group yesterday that the whole drape took 30 minutes, you can see why now. Because there's no layering, there's no blending. It's dead easy. Okay. <laughs> then we go to Tuscan Red. Same thing. Follow the pattern. Tip of my pencil's a little bit loose actually, I might need to sharpen it in a second. Let me just sharpen that up. <clears throat> That's better. Follow the pattern. Follow the pattern. And you'll see that when you get to kind of in the middle of the palette, the um, <clears throat> You'll, you'll start to kind of meet in the middle with your colours as you go around. But that's fine, that's what we want. So again, I'm not blending, I'm just following round that pattern of Joanna's original drapes. And I don't, I don't really want to blend, I don't need to blend because I want the folds of the curtain to show. So now we're going to go to our raspberry. And you can see how straight forward it is. Just being a little bit careful around that leaf. Leave a little bit there for a slightly lighter highlight. Same at the bottom. Okay, <clears throat> and we'll go to Crimson Lake. And I think we'll stop at Crimson Lake actually, because I'll show you how to use the lightest colour when we get to this swirly bit. So basically then you just fill in the rest. And look at that, how deep and rich and fabric-y does that look. And how long did that take? Three, four minutes? It's easy, honestly, you can do it. So, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. Where does that leave us? Because I'm working up here. And we'll repeat the process on this. On this one here, I think. That's better. Go move it over in that direction. So, exactly the same principle. <clears throat> We're going to start with black. We'll start with black. I'm just going to follow the pattern that Joanna's laid down. So where she's got the fold in the fabric, we take down a line of black, like that, to about there. Firm hand, doesn't have to be neat, you just need to follow the shape of that swirl. And like I say, you can use this for any colour palette. It doesn't have to be red, I just wanted red velvet curtains. Um, they just struck me as red velvet curtains. And because you're using black, and the black raspberry as well actually, it makes really, really rich colours. Don't, don't be afraid to put the black on the page, it's fine. Firm hand. So you can see I'm putting a thick layer of colour down. Not 
no layering, no blending. Same at this side. So where that disappears over the top will be slightly out of the light. Follow that swirl of the drape. Like that. You can see I'm not even having to be pretty, even very precise because <clears throat> You don't need to be. It's really, really easy. Okay, black down, we'll go to black raspberry. Follow the pattern. Firm pressure around the black and slightly over it as well. So it's not rocket science, it's really straightforward, <laughs> quick and pretty straightforward to follow. So as I say, you can, you can apply this to any palette. Just make sure that for your shadows, when you're following the pattern of Joanna's folds of the fabric, just make sure that you get dark shades. So I would start off with a black, unless you're doing something really light, like yellow or something like that. If you're doing like really rich shades, I would start with a black. If you're doing something really light, like a yellow palette, you might want to start with kind of like a, a red or a magenta rather than a, a full black, because that might be a bit much. Okay, uh, Tuscan red. Follow the pattern. Firm pressure, not layering, not blending. Follow the outline round and slightly over the previous colour. And I think Prismacolors, I mean you can use any brand, but I think Prismacolors are pretty good for this because they're so rich in basic colour. But you, you, can, you can absolutely use whichever brand you want. Okay. Then we go to Raspberry. And again, you'll start to meet in the middle. But it's just really, really, really simple and very, very effective in terms of making kind of like a velvet crush fabric effect. Okay, then we're going to go to Crimson Lake. And then that very last little bit will do in Scarlet Lake. <clears throat> so you can see it doesn't matter whether you're using a, a straight piece of curtain or a drapey piece of curtain, or a swathed piece of curtain. The principle's exactly the same and then this lightest highlight would just catch the bottom of this piece of the material. And that's it. So I hope that's been really useful. It's really, really basic, but I'm sure you'll agree that it, it's it's really good. It, it's, it makes such a rich, a rich colour palette. Alright guys, um, any, as usual, any questions, just drop me a line. Bye for now.